I'm Sarah Holbrook. I'm here at the Nashville Film. Oh, I like this. Sarah, yes. Sarah Holbrook. Sarah Holbrook. Nice. Yes. Are you in a band? Nice to meet you. I'm in a band. We saw you last night. Yes, that you was guys me. Are awesome. Thank you so much. We're well, sisters from Denver. They yeah. have this amazing band. Yeah. Music everywhere. I love this so stuff. You're from Music Denver? everywhere. I'm from Fort Collins. Fort Collins. Mm -hmm. But I live here in Nashville, and I'm here hosting the red carpet. Right so I on. Wanted, wanted to talk to you guys about the film. Hell yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. what, what do you need to know? Well, what was your favorite part about filming with uh, with the band? Well. You know, I mean, the band is not what it was back in the day. I mean, Skinner went down in a plane crash in 77, and the experience is great tragedy. There was, but many people survived, like this gentleman. Mm -hmm. And I think talking to someone like Artemis, I mean, you got living history in this man right here. Uh, I'm 70 years old. 70 by years the way. old. <laughs> Just so you'll know. Crawl, <laughs> you know. You're killing it. Car but uh, caring, I still play you know, with my band every day. And yeah. they, they a two take, hour show and they, end with Freebird. And they play, you know, Artemis Pyle, the Artemis Pyle band, carrying on the musical tradition uh, laid down back in the 70s by Ronnie Van Zant. Uh, and it was just, it was just getting the story from the people who were there when. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was too young to like be around when Skinner was. Uh, out there on the road uh, in the 70s. And um, so it was just an honor to me to speak to these guys. Yeah. Artemis, to Ed King, who, you know, one of the guys that wrote Sweet Home Alabama, did, who we all hear it? every single day, he's going to come tomorrow. He's coming tomorrow? He's coming okay, tomorrow. Cool. Uh, yeah, it was just really talking to the guys. I mean, yeah. this is like rock and roll history in the flesh. So yeah. that's always exciting to me. I've done a lot of these movies, and it never gets old. That is so amazing. That's my son right there. I, we, we I'm, just, I met your son. We, he is we just, just. We did an album together. I played drums on it. He wrote all the songs and sang it. And actually, uh, it's called Chapel. You be, be in the lookout. Cool. I want hey, this guy. This guy. Chris. We got to get this Chris. guy in here. Hold on, one second. Rick, Rick Broyles needs to get in here for a quick second. I can do that. Because Rick, I'm Sarah Holbrook. I'm Sarah. here at the Nashville Film nice Festival. Nice to meet you. Good How to are you? Let me just yeah. tell you a little bit about this man. This yes. man has been documenting and interviewing uh, people in and around the Skinnerd band for I don't know what, going on 25 years now. Yeah, I mean, mid 90s. From mid -90s. the mid 90s. Without him. We wouldn't, I mean, Bob Burns, the original drummer of the band who left us a couple years ago, uh, lives on in the movie thanks to uh, the diligent work of Rick Boyles and his partner Tony Beasley who interviewed him. And uh, he has been documenting for years and years. Met with him. And, yeah, and I'll just want to say, this, 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 this is Angel. Hey, Angel, I'm Sarah. Nice good, to meet good you. She was very too. close to Bob Burns, the original drummer. And Bob and I were brothers at arms. The two real drummers of the real Leonard Skinner, you know, uh, both in the same band, and then we lost him in a car wreck. And Angel was uh, like, you know, a really close friend of Bob's and kind of brought us more together. So I she's a very, very much a part the of the story. <laughs> and oh, I, was, I was told in the movie a piece that, Brit, that Rick uh, provided that Steve so wisely put yeah. in uh, was Bob Burns being very funny. He's hilarious. He more than a few times. He runs away with the movie. More oh, honest to God. Times. So well, like, wait a minute, I don't know if I like that. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> until, he, until he shows up. Right, right. Until he shows up. And then he steals the, the film, drummers. right? It's always yeah. the drummers. Yeah. I was raised a drummer. I don't know if you knew that. I played drums all my life. Really? So, like, to have the two driving forces behind this music in there, keeping the film cooking, mm -hmm. it's been uh, it's been a, a real honor. Got to say. Awesome. That's oh, awesome. We're getting this. We're getting this. We gotta go awesome. see the movie. You guys got to go see the movie. Well, congratulations and thank you for being at the Nashville Dude. Film Festival. Thank you. So great to meet you all. Be on the lookout for Chapel. Chris Pyle's new two album. Two P's, two L's. Chapel. Two P's, two L's. Awesome. And, and it's called Southern Fried Tribal Boogie. Oh, heck yeah. Well, congratulations hey. on that. It's great it's, talking it's with very you earlier. World Beat. It's um, like World Beat. There's a lot of drums in it. Perfect. Because, you know, all seven of us that play, we're all brothers and sisters. We are a tribal. Yes. So you're going to love it. I love it. Well, you all enjoy the festival, Angel. Great to meet thank you. you. Sir, th thank you. Thank you for chatting with us. Yeah. Tell me your name one more time. Sarah Holbrook. Sarah. Good to cool. meet you. Great to meet you. Yes. Y'all right, have Sarah. a good night. Thank you. Thanks.